Jazzy Does It, and welcome to my very first video. I never thought that I'd be doing this, but here we are. And here's my son. He wouldn't let me record without him. He was just having the worst tantrum of all time. So, now he's gonna be. So the very first thing that we're gonna do today is a mason jar chandelier. I'm gonna try my very, very best to make it the easiest tutorial that I possibly can. You're not gonna need any kind of power tools. All you're gonna need is a power drill, not a table saw, not a circular saw. None of that is gonna be required in that. You're gonna need a drill, a nail, and a hammer. And let's get started. All right guys, let's talk about the things that you're gonna need for this project. Um, I've got some wood screws. These are nut covers. I have the hammer, my nail, my needle nose pliers. This piece of wood that I stained, um, I got at home Lowe's and it was about eight bucks. And I also had them cut it while I was there. I have these little anchors to hang from the ceiling. This is actually gonna go in the ceiling which is gonna hold our whole chandelier. Uh, it holds, um, I think it said 165 pounds. This is gonna be nowhere near 165 pounds. And here's my son um, rolling around on the floor. Yeah, okay, so um, we have some wood glue, some white wire, some black wire, the chain that's also gonna help hold our chandelier up. These are wire connectors. And FYI, I am not an electrician, this is something super easy simple and shouldn't require anything extra than the wires that are already in the ceiling i have what a white wire a black wire and a copper wire and i also have extra nails just in case i need it even though you should only need one and if you have basic mason jars like i have these basic mason jars um you're going to need smaller light bulbs because the regular size light bulbs do not fit in the mouth of the mason jar so these are actually A15s. So you wanna make sure that you get an A15 unless you're gonna get a wide mouth mason jar for this. And of course, you know, a pair of scissors. And let's go. Okay, so I got these pendant lights off Amazon. They were like $12.99 for a pack of four. I'm actually doing a five mason jar chandelier. So I had to buy two but which was fine because I was doing other light fixtures around the house, so it worked out. So again, these on Amazon are $12.99, so super cheap. Um, I also got these mason jars from Target. Uh, it was $11 for a pack of 12. Of course, we don't need all of those, unless you're gonna make a giant chandelier, which is totally possible. You can totally do that. So the first thing that you do is you're going to unscrew this little piece off of the template light then oh template pendant light I'm saying it wrong pendant light um, you're going to put that right in the middle this is the top part of the mason jar I spray painted it copper because I actually want the whole thing to be copper that's kind of the theme that I'm going for this time uh, okay so you're just going to flip that over and you're gonna draw a circle. Go ahead and around this. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just can't be bigger than this top circle. Okay. So this is where your hammer and your nail come in. So you're going to sit that there and you're gonna nail all the way around this. So it's gonna look like this. 
Hold on a second. <laughs> now, this is where you take your needle nose pliers. This actually isn't as hard as you think it would be, so you like kind of put it between two holes and you just squeeze and twist and it makes a bigger hole right there. Right there. So you just squeeze and twist. Squeeze and twist. And you're gonna do this all the way around until you have a open circle on the inside. You can actually go between a couple different holes. You don't have to go right to the one next to it. Since it's so thin. gonna put that back down there and you want to just kind of hammer out those sharp edges because you just you know you don't want to hurt yourself so. okay. all right so now what you do is you take this and your pendant light and you put it that side up just like that you take this little screw piece and go ahead and screw that back on there and we're gonna take our mason jar put this up a bit. mason jar put that on there on top of the mason jar and you could just put the slid back on there our lid on okay so now after we have put the holes in the top part of our mason jar yours should look like this now we also have this very very long wire depending on how high your ceilings are mines are not that high you can cut this wire <laughs> and make it any length that works for your specific room that you're gonna hang this in. So let's go on to the next part, which will be drilling holes in this wood so that our wire will fit through. Thank you. <laughs> the next part that I'm gonna do is I'm going to put this together. This is going to be my wood box that's gonna house the wires from my chandelier. Um, again, I bought this from Lowe's for about $8. So I'm going to glue these pieces together and then I'm also going to screw them with some wood screws. So let's do that next. So now I'm actually going to drill the holes into the wood to feed the wire through. I have another piece of wood underneath this so that way I don't drill down into the floor. Um, I have this yardstick too to help me measure exactly where I want to um, put each center of the wood. So this piece of wood is actually 30 inches long. So I'll put the first mason jar wire at the 15 inch mark and then so on and so on, so that it's nice and even. So I have marked all my marks on my board for where I want to drill my first holes. So um, they're evenly spaced. I used my yardstick to mark them. I'm gonna get a drill bit and just go to work. So make sure you have something underneath if you're drilling on the floor like I am. So that way you don't drill a hole into your floor.
So you just want to make sure that your holes that you made are big enough for the wires to go through. So you can obviously just test that out to see if it fits. If not, just go a little bit bigger. So mine's is not. So we're gonna go to the next size drill bit and hopefully that fits. Okay, so the one that ended up working for me is the one fourth drill bit. It worked perfectly. It got, my wire went right through that hole. Um, if you get the same exact pendant light as me, I'll put a link in the description bar for exactly the ones that I bought. Um, they fit right through the hole. So, let's see. Yep, see, it goes right through there. So, hopefully, by the time we're finished, we'll have some nice mason jar chandeliers happening. Okay, so I've put this box together. All I did was I took a drill bit, a small one. Let's see where it is. This one right here. It is, let's see if it says the number on it. It does not, <laughs> but it's just really, really thin. No! Stop. I drilled holes here, here, and here. And I um, put the screw in on all the sides. So now, like I said, it's a box. So it's a box to house the wires. So screw here, here, and here. So the next thing that I'm gonna do now is actually drill down here, 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 and here. And I'm gonna use these because these are actually going to be where the chain goes so that the chain can hold the chandelier up into the ceiling. Nut covers. 
your cap nuts so that way the screw which is exposed right here doesn't show through it'll look like this instead so that'd be a little bit prettier <laughs> and just screw that on there Okay, so here's our box. Here are the anchor hooks right here, right here, and right here, so that it can be lifted and hang from the ceiling. And now what we're gonna do now is put our mason jars through the wires through these holes and start connecting each wire to each other. Okay, so what I'm doing now is measuring how long I want each wire to hang from the chandelier. So I want mine to be five inches since my ceilings are so low. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just taking a Sharpie, I'm marking it on the wire where I can see it. And then I'm actually gonna take a piece of tape and I'm gonna wrap it around where I don't want it to go past. That way when I stick it through the hole of the box that we made, then I know where to stop at. So I have some electrical tape. It doesn't matter what color it is. You'll be able to see the tape that you cut. So you can use electric tape, scotch tape, paint tape, any tape. So I'm gonna stick it right here. So I know not to go past that point. And then make it long so it'll be easy to take off so i'm going to do that for all of my mason jars so that way i know how long i want each one to be okay so here's what i was talking about see i put the tape on each one that way i know where to stop on each individual jar now we're going to put the wires through the box and then put a knot so that way it doesn't fall through and connect each wire. Okay, so if you bought the same pendant lights as me, they came with a lid for each one, which actually comes in handy when you're trying to make sure that the wire doesn't go through the hole when the weight of the mason jar is attached. So what you can do is you just take this little piece, it's got a little tiny screw to keep the wire in place off. So just unscrew that. So then you have this piece and this piece along with this piece. So where you put your knot at, you can unknot that. You really only need this and the nut. So you're just gonna feed the wires through. You gotta unscrew this little clear screw a little bit so that the wire can fit through. And then you're just gonna feed this through that hole here.
until it goes all the way and meets your wood. So you can just take your screwdriver. I just have my drill bit and I'm just gonna screw that screw tight so that the wire doesn't move. Then you're gonna take this and just screw that back on there. And now that is secure and it won't move. So just make sure that clear screw right there is nice and tight. I'll show you. Right there, make sure that's nice and tight on there. Okay, this is the electrician part of the video. Again, I am not an electrician. I just follow instructions well. So we're gonna cut all this extra wire off that we don't need. Then you wanna expose the black and the white wire. So I'm using scissors. If you have a wire cutter, that works better, but this will work for right now. So we're just gonna pull these apart so that I can get down to the whole wire. I'll just make a little cut right there. Just kind of break it apart. Of course, this is the most difficult part, right? Give me a second. Okay, so we got it going now. We're gonna just cut. Try not to cut the actual wire that's inside of the casing. Okay, had to use my phone, the battery on my camera died, but the show must go on. So, I'm just gonna pull it down. So we expose the black and the white wire. Keep on going. pieces of wire coating off because you just need your black and your white wire. <sighs> so what you do now is you need to cut a little bit off of the edges to expose the actual wire that's inside this little copper wire. So you want it to be like this.
on every wire. So on this wire and the white wire on every single wire. So I'm gonna do that and I'll be back. Okay, so now all of our wires are exposed. So now we're ready to cut more black wire and more white wire to connect each light together. So what you're gonna have to do is cut a piece of black wire to connect this wire and this wire together and then have that extra piece of black wire going to this wire so you can connect this wire and this wire together and then that extra piece of black wire will connect to this wire right here and you're gonna have to do the same thing for the white wire same exact thing to come back around okay so example so I have one piece of black wire both ends are exposed this one and this one so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this black wire and this black wire and you're gonna twist them together okay then you're gonna take your wire connectors so this and you're gonna twist that on top of those wires together So that this way, this wire could connect to this wire and this wire together. So you're gonna have to connect another piece of black wire together to connect from here to here. Okay, so now we can connect this wire with this black wire together so we're just going to twist all three together like that take the wire connectors and twist those all the way until they click there then you're going to take this wire and this wire get another black wire Twist all those together. Like that. Take a wire connector and twist them. Just make sure you're twisting them all in the same direction too. She don't want it to come off. And take this wire, connect it with this wire and twist all these together like so. Get another wire connector that's already in our little pack. And you're gonna just twist these all the way on. There, like that. So you need this wire to connect to a really long wire because this is the wire that's going to connect to the box that's in the ceiling this black wire this black wire and then this black wire you need it to be longer because it's going to have to go up the, the length of the chain which depending on how low or how high you want your chandelier to fall from the ceiling will depend on how long you need to make this black wire. So for right now, I'm just gonna keep it really long so that way I have room, wiggle room to cut it later. So you're just gonna put all these together like that. Get another wire connector. Connect all of these here. to be really on there tight. So now all of our black wires are connected. You have to do the exact same thing for the white wires and I'll be back. All of my wire is connected. All my white wire, my black wire is all connected. I like to take extra precautions because I'm just crazy like that. 
I want to wrap each individual wire connector with some electrical tape. Just, hey, you can never be too safe, right? Especially since I'm not an electrician. So I'm just going to wrap each one with some electrical tape just to make sure that all the wires stay inside of the wire connector. Okay, so now I put the chain on I just made sure that it was even on both sides. So I actually counted the lengths of chain on each side because it's actually going to hang from like this on the ceiling with these like this. Okay, this part is very, very, very important when you're working with electrical work. So here's my fuse box. So the one that I need to turn off is the down lights. That will turn off all the lights downstairs when I'm trying to take down any other light fixtures. So always make sure that you turn the electrical off before you try to hang any light fixtures. Okay, so this is what's in the ceiling. What I was telling you about, you have your white wire, your black wire, and your copper wire. Then my wonderful husband put this nice anchor in here we had a couple tries but here's the stud it's right here this holds 165 pounds so our light fixture will be fine for that this is actually the bracket that came with those pendant lights so that was great so we're going to actually utilize those pieces to hang it and we're going to put the black and white wire that's attached to our fixture through the black hole through this hole so that way this hole is hidden and it's closed. And we will finish mason jar chandelier. Whew. <laughs>